Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eight World again. Thanks for stopping by. And just remember, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Also, before we start, take a second to vote in the poll in the description and tell me what your favourite sci-fi FPS franchise is, because I'll be using the results in a video very soon. But anyway, recently I fired up Insurgency to see how it was going, because it's been almost a year since I've made a video on this game. I mean, the thinking was, it's not a huge AAA title, so with games like Titanfall and Hardline dead on PC, what hope is there for a game like this? Well, sure enough, there is a lot less players online than there was a year ago, but it's definitely not dead with almost 5,000 active players a day. And this is more than Battlefield Hardline on PC, which definitely isn't bad for an indie game that's over a year older. The best thing about the player base though is that they aren't grouped into stupid custom servers like you'd see in Battlefield. I mean, it's even relatively easy for me in Australia to find a decent populated server, and it seems like the community is still pretty dedicated. And with that being said, I'd have to say, all in all, I was pretty surprised at the state of the game and how easy it was to just jump in and have fun. So if, like me, you're less than impressed with the AAA shooters this holidays, well, maybe you might want to try this one out because there's still a lot of life in it yet. So what is Insurgency if you haven't heard of it already? Well, it's a hardcore tactical shooter that's built on the Source engine. That means it doesn't really have the most up-to-date graphics, but man, is it fun to play anyway, and most importantly, it runs fairly well on low-spec PCs. In fact, I can even play this game on my Mac Mini, which is getting fairly old now and doesn't even have a dedicated graphics card. And on my main PC, it runs just fine, which is a pretty good achievement because sometimes indie FPS games can be optimised pretty badly. For fans of BF4, well, you're going to be right at home with this game because more or less all of the same sort of features are there. Most importantly, most game modes are 16v16, which isn't quite as big as BF4, but it definitely is enough to give you that large-scale feel. The push and skirmish game modes are basically like Russian Conquest, and there's also a bunch of competitive style game modes if you're into that sort of thing. And just like in Battlefield, there's a range of different weapons and classes to choose from, and also you can fully customise your loadout however you want. Now, that being said, there are a few things that Insurgency doesn't do, but there are a lot of things that it does do better than Battlefield. I mean, for example, there's no vehicles in this game, but that also means the focus is on infantry combat, which is something I wish was the case in BF4. I mean, anyone who's played Battlefield would know that, especially in BF4, the kills by bullshit factor is off the charts. And that's something you don't have to worry about in Insurgency, because if you get killed, it's because you've made a mistake and not because of some stupid gadget. A lot of people would also say it's got a lot in common with a game like Siege, and that is true, but once again, there is a lot it does better. For example, you don't have as much freedom to get around the maps, but on the other hand, the maps are bigger, which in my opinion is a lot more fun. Most importantly, I think the best thing about this game is that unlike Siege, you have respawns, but they're not like BF4 in that they come in waves. And with the fact that this game has a hardcore damage model, this means that you still have to make sure you play carefully, but you'll spend more time in-game and less time waiting for the next round. But finally, probably my favourite thing about this game is the fact that DLC is released every now and then, and most importantly, it's all free. You don't have to unlock any of the new content either, you just sign in and it's all there, which is great for casual players like me. And speaking of casual players, well, don't get me wrong, Insurgency does have a pretty steep learning curve, but you don't have to play it every day to be a good player. It's such a well-balanced game that as long as you're reasonably good with a mouse, you can have a good time, which is more than can be said for most FPS games. And also, when you're sick of the regular maps, there's a heap of night versions you can play, and not just like the one or two night maps we have in Battlefield. The devs have obviously tried their best to design this game with the night maps in mind, which means that they're balanced and you actually want to keep playing them. The fact is, though, it's not even the maps and modes that keep this game fun. It's the fact that the game is actually challenging and tactical. And that's something that's often missed in arcade-style games. And I think if more devs worked on satisfying core gameplay, they probably wouldn't need to keep shoveling out mountains of DLC content. So the question is, is Insurgency worth buying over a game like Siege or Battlefront this holidays? Well, I'd say 110% yes. 
It's currently only 15 bucks on Steam and it's even cheaper when it's on special, which is a relatively small price to pay for what this game delivers. There's no season pass to add on to that, no stupid microtransactions, and I guarantee you won't be looking back and regretting your purchase. And all of these things are definitely things that you're unlikely to be saying about most FPS games these days, so if you haven't already got Insurgency, definitely make sure you pick it up ASAP. But anyway, guys, that just about wraps up this quick video, so let me know what you think in the comment section below, and as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out the links in the description below if you want to see more of my videos, or if you want to support my channel on Patreon, and until next time, see you later, and have a good one.